This is what WIA looks like before the vendors get set up. They just open the doors so we can come in here and start setting up. That's going to be Bridge City's big booth the whole way. And they're down. And we got some French marketry people way down over there, so that's going to be very interesting to hang out with and watch. A lot of boutique tool manufacturers and vendors over here, so uh, in good company. And then there's going to be more power tools on the other side of the wall here. So, And then probably my second favorite booth is getting set up right here in front. Leave out. So you can go hang out with the Canadian folk. So this is uh, Michael loading up. This, that's half the Bridge City goodies going in right now. The other half's in there with uh, John. Yeah, of course, Michael got stuck with the heavy stuff and John got stuck with the light stuff. It's, uh, it's the same over there. There's all the goodies. Now we got to get to putting all these stands together. Yeah, see what this is going to transform like with a bunch of precision fences and joint makers. Uh, so these are the cool stands that we're putting together. Holy Bridge City makes cool stands. Check these out. So we've got round notches over here. Now that we know the trick, we got lucky on one of them, which is a 1 in 16 chance that we put it together correctly. This one here has got square notches to match up, all of them on that side. And then we got these, uh, well, that's a square one, it's going to go there. But then we got, uh, oh, here we go, some chamfers and then some half moons. It's crazy. Quarter moon. Quarter moon. Yeah, good point. Uh, so here's one half of the new precision fence, freshly assembled yesterday. So these are really nice fence units. They got really, the parts are, it's hard to do this with one hand. So you got a flip top here for your stop. The fronts of these have all these uh, tapped holes for it. So you can set this to 90 with these rotations. That's a one-time calibration. But then afterwards, you can use these to attach different types of fence parts in the front. Uh, but then this one here is kind of a, this is a dead, uh, kind of a dead fence part. This one here is adjusted by this blue knob on the side here. So. Uh, the precision on that, there's like, it's zero backlash on there. And I can't remember what the uh, turns are. The turns are like one turn is a uh, or something. Uh, but the setting itself, where you can position this, it's got a quick set. What's uh, impressive about all this is this is all designed, prototyped in SolidWorks, and then sent off for manufacture. So this is like what would be the prototype, but they do it in one shot. So the other goodies came out of the case. We've got the, the CS12 V2. And then here we've got the, the Cam 1, TM 1, actually it's TM 2. So the CS2, there's the HP 8 little hand thing in there. We got the Angle Master Pro all bundled together. Oh, nice stuff. Here's the HP 8 kit, the brass version of it. That was the stainless steel one. That's the whole kit with the, oh, they got a CT 15. That's the, uh, it's like a bevel gauge, a dovetail gauge. CT 17 hand plane, that's a really nice hand plane. I use mine to death at home. And the uh, DJ1 drilling jig with all the bushings and parts. And Michael's going to take that away so we can see the goodies. And all the nice stuff. Now we get to see the goodies. Oh, God, I haven't done there. Just, yeah, you got this. The, these are the HP7s here. And then we got. Uh, this is the ASP25, the big fat one. Yeah, okay, okay. I never saw those. That was the first stainless steel plane we did. Okay. Very nice. More uh, no, stuff. Uh, uh, there, could, there could have been more stuff there. I guess you guys have to make more. The crowning plane should be in there. Oh, that's true. Oh, it's cool. not. A, we don't have it. Uh, right. Oh, here we go. So we got that. The, there's the CT16. Um, I think, that, yeah, that's the CT16 uh, palm brace. Then down here we've got the, the DSS6. So uh, that's a really nice. It's got the uh, saddle. Saddle gauge on there, what do you want to call it? I'm blanking because I'm hungry. There's the Mar MG5 marking gauge, the CS6, little combination square. Uh, this was a limited run bevel gauge that they did where they put the star on there. And here's a whole little slew of HP6 multi molding, uh, multi planes. So that's actually what we're going to be doing a lot of demos with over here. So I couldn't read these while I was standing up, but uh, oh, this is a. Uh, So this is the stainless steel version. They did a limited run of the stainless steel versions of the HP7s. The HP7 being this shoulder plane that you see back up here. And this is the commemorative tool. So the, the CT14 is the fatter version of the 7. So you can see 
So there's the, they, they call it a fox dovetail, uh, fox shoulder plane, rather. So this is the CT-14, uh, correct? Yeah, CT-14. And then this is the HP-7, so. Basically one of them is good. This one here is, uh, I think this one here is an inch and a quarter, and this one here is three quarters of an inch. So, and then this is the stainless steel version of this CT-14. It was done as a very limited run, so it was done on their 20th anniversary thing. I don't know how many they uh, totally made. Oh, except this one here would be even more special. It's the sample unit, so there's only two of those in existence. Very interesting. Definitely a toy box. So you can see the joint makers are getting put together. We've been at this for a little while. Those stands, they're easy to do. He had them all half-assembled and finger tightened, but then by the time they ship, they get all loose, so I had to redo both of the sides and then assemble the other strap on uh, the tables. So these tables we're gonna be replacing, that's the original fence that comes with the joint maker. So we're gonna be replacing those with the precision fence, the new one, the one that you saw part of. I haven't actually seen the box with all the other ones in there, but we'll get to those later. I'm going to try making it look like it's well used. <laughs> All the goodies on this one. It's the closest I've ever been to a Lee Valley store. <laughs> All the new goodies. Inlay kit. Can I grab it plain? That one looks really sweet. PM11 blades. PMB11. That's a nice one. So this is Eagle Tools. I didn't know they were having a booth here. This is going to be the toy shop for sure. Very nice. And they're right next to Sauce Stop. We are Sauce Stop. Uh, we're going to be getting the uh, precision fence now. We're sitting in his hand. The whole thing. So what were you saying about the slot on the inside that you did? Oh, so what happens is, see this extrusion here? Yeah. It runs on tracks. Okay. So what that does is it keeps it keeps our angularity yeah, be from nice. varying on these, yeah. on the, this. Right, so, you, so we can correct here by using these yeah. screws, and then you can adjust, remove and put it back on, and it's, correct. it doesn't require the calibration. I love the idea of rotating them, too. So here's the thing. This is for what narrow stock. If you're doing Starbucks sticks, uh -huh. you're going to want to kick that over. Otherwise, see the see the gap yeah. here? Oh, they'll slide right under it. They'll slide under it. It needs a wrench. Oh, I see. And then you have a... Yeah, I yeah, want this to is see cool. the... Uh, then you have a set screw right here. Right, I see. That you will... You'll square this up if you're going to fasten anything to this. Okay. So these are drilled and tapped, so you can put special jigs and fixtures. And nice. What they're tapped? They're tapped holes. Wow. Fun. No, you can feel and then you got, it. You can I put this no anywhere. Thoughts. What's cool yeah. is if it's in the way, just pop it up. Just pop it up. So how does the quick set work on this one here? Because I know that one's micro adjusted, but I thought there was a quick set. Slide. It's right. locked. Oh, okay, okay. That's locked in place right now. Right. And then to get that out of place, 
Can they get it to move it? Yeah. Well, I can use the dial. This one's not bad. See this? But isn't there, there was a fast way to move it. Uh, there, I can do a rapid traverse, but I've got to do this. Oh, so ah, just okay. That's what I was wondering. There we go, yeah. So you unscrew that, and that's what gives it loose. Okay. Where and these are the ways for doing a quick set. It, it gauges on this red knob. Oh, right there. So it just yeah, it just squeezes down on here. Yeah, what this red knob does, what this red knob does, is it forces the threads into the rod right. so we can get rid of the backlash. Yeah, nice. So now there is no backlash. See this? Yeah. Great. That oh, feels that's sexy. So sweet. So do you have uh, the other head units? That uh, there were some optional ones, like there was the. The one for doing the tenons? We have everything. Okay, excellent. Please. Ah, that's what I want to see, yeah. So that's for doing, that's a different See, then this goes in. Fences. These come off. Right. That's the purple plate. <laughs> These come off. He was handing it to you before you even asked. These come off, and then this is your clamping system. And we use the second hole. Uh -huh. This is cool, too. Check this out. Our swivel system, we didn't invent this. I don't know who did, but it's genius. See that swivel? Yeah. Watch this. It's reverse threaded. Oh, uh -huh. cool. So it's back cut. There's only one thread in there. Uh-huh. You don't need the thread for anything. It doesn't do anything except act as a retaining ring. Mm -hmm. So now it's a reverse thread because most of the time you're clamping. Right. And then it and just then, spins. And also when it's clamping, that's when it would stop it from spinning and it would unthread. Exactly. Right. Very nice. Well, I can see it being stuck to a piece of wood. Now, this is cool, yeah. too. So check this out. This has enough degree of uh, pivot yeah. so that when we put this on, we can literally clamp oh, to this. An angle. Yeah. It clamps in and down. Right, right. I see that. That's very cool. Oops. Oh, sorry. I don't know if I know yeah, this is the thing. I, that is so, cool. so that's the plate for, yeah, for right. doing the angle and right. doing the tenon yeah, fences. So you can, Toss this in there, I presume. And this is the saw. Yeah. So I was, I was teasing him that we were gonna, that you, you took it, you packed it. Now you have to unpack it. Yeah. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I'm very, I want to see this thing run. That's it. No, what I really wanted to show you guys was this. That's a longer play. It's the stiffest coping saw in the history of the human species. Try that. What's the difference wow. between a coping saw and a fret saw? Do you want to uh, the blade? The thick, the width of the blade? The length of the blade. And the you typically oh. depth here. Mm -hmm. um, and fret saws you need to can grab the blade by touching yeah. them. No. 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 See, no. these blades have little pins in them. Right. See, where, what you're doing... No, 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 did you design this? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. What you're doing is so smart because... This is how it should have been this made storage, man, from the it, right? beginning, but the technology wasn't there. there. Yeah. Yeah. This is fantastic. Um, sure. If you've got so some wood around here, try cutting with it. Oh, I believe it cuts. I didn't cut enough wood. I just know it's... The sick, the sick thing, well, the problem with it we're having is that... You know what else you can do with this? You can drag this through soapy water and blow triangular <laughs> bubbles. <laughs> yes, you can! <laughs> well, we need to figure out what we're going to call it, because it's, it, it's not a coping saw. Okay. That egg that you guys made. Uh, you show an egg yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool tool. That's awesome. The table stays stable. Right, and you tilt the blade, either 45 degrees, start one way or the other. Careful, Chris. Oh, Floor, I've seen this uh, saw that they yeah. play with over here. I, um, Roger right is sending me to the website when he called me. Will it cut yes. bone? Yes. Oh, yeah, of course. Cuts fingers real well, man. It does that, too. And you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, as a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> I missed the way that you said it. Give I knew there was a story there. Give me, yeah. and see if it's in. Uh, yes. Give me one of these pieces, and one. when we go down to get the next run, we'll do one for you and send okay. it to you. No, okay. I'll, I'll have to send one up to you, but yeah. No problem. Uh, okay. Carbide oh, just guide. Awesome. Just below the bench. <laughs> <laughs> no, it adds nothing. And it adds nothing to our hand. Really. Uh, 